WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside, nearly all the sectors inside the S&P 500 as well. The only sector trading lower is the energy sector, the XLE. Got the Dow up 247 points, six tenths percent, eight tenths for the S&P or 45 points, one percent for the NASDAQ. That's 211 points, 32 points for the Russell on fire again, one and a half points. The semis are up two and three tenths, 131 points there. Trannies are up uh, over 1%, 179 points there. Gold is up 8 bucks. Silver's down 48 cents. That's a 1.5% move at the moment. Lights recruit up 50 pennies. Natural gas up a nickel. 30 Treasury down 6 ticks. She's printed out at 119.21. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that 9 panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. Upper left-hand side, it has a sell the D point top. That was confirmed yesterday with its key reversal bar. A new profile is attempting to form. Right now, prices trade above the top of that profile. The top is at 55.66. The bottom here at 55.84. What's that suggest? Well, if price closes above the top of that profile, 56.67, let's call it, then we're likely going to go target yesterday's high. Now, maybe it's going to do that anyways, but that's what you'd be watching at day's end. If we take a look at spot volatility, still below its 50-day exponents moving to average. That puts the uh, win at the sales for the ES Mini for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, confirming a Rhodes Mentum Indicator top, a TD9 count top, a sell the D point top yesterday, and a new profile that has formed. It has support at 2280 and resists at 2866. Um, it's also got a bit of resist at 2684. That's its daily oscillator and change line. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it is in the process of forming a TD9 count bottom. I believe today's candle will be bar number nine. That says that the pattern should complete on Monday. That should lead to a rally. In the meantime, we've got gold that's traded above its smaller consolidation with inside its larger consolidation. And that should that suggests to you and I that it wants to go target the top of that consolidation pattern. And that is in the 24. Uh, 78 type of uh, level out there. Silver still struggling, really at its prior swing point, at its descending trend line out there. Uh, we got lights recruit that just consolidated with inside its daily profile. That's between the range at 8061 for support, 8409 for resistance. Natural gas was threatening to negate its TD9 count bottom. It's got resistance at the 2.423 level, and the 30 year Treasury is trading into its sell zone. That's between 119.07 and 120.20. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fabulous Friday, a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.